Howdy folks, it's Tall Turtle here. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and today we're going to complete the Discovered Denmark bush trip. Final leg, 6 out of 6. If you haven't watched previous videos, I'm not sure why because you'd want to watch them in order. However, anyway, watch the first video, long introduction, tell you how we're working this and let's just keep going. Let's finish this thing. Alright, so we start with the repair and refuel, even though we got plenty of fuel, but we'll do that anyway. Let's clear out this insert thing and turn on our wind. Although it really doesn't matter in these strips, but there we go. And turn off the alerts and everything, and we'll zoom this out as we need to in a moment. Alrighty, where are we headed? We are headed to Yankee Tango. 27 minutes it says. We'll see how long it really takes. It's also funny because on the information page, oh, it's just like a straight shot in. Straight shot. Circle to land. Oh, that's easy. On the information page for this bush trip, it says 3 hours and 11 minutes. But on the loading screen, it says 3 hours 30 minutes. We'll see how long it takes for me. Alright, looks like we're going to be flying some over, over some airports that we don't land at. And we have a couple POIs. So let's see. First POI is kind of close, so we'll read about it before we take off so we don't miss anything. And then the next POI is right after. So here we go. Randers Fjord from Arhos Airport, fly northwest 20 mod nautical miles to where Randers Fjord meets the sea. Alright, so we're going to look for um, a Ford, Fjord, meaning the sea. And then right after that, seven miles later, um, fly north-northwest is Mirzer Fjord, the longest in Denmark. So we're going to look for two fjords right off the bat here. Fly to this fjord, and then we're going to go to the longest fjord. And then when we're there, we'll read about the next POI so we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. Alrighty, let's see. Everything is good to go here. Let's set up autopilot. We'll stay at two grand again. It's been working out so far. And 800, 700 feet per minute. 800 feet per minute. That's usually what it's trimmed for, I found out. Or it seems to be anyway. Here, uh, let's zoom this out until we see the fjord. Right? That's the first one? No. It's after this. Anyway, get the idea. Okie dokie, that is it. So simple. First set of flaps down, parking brake off. We will hand fly till you rejoin the purple line, and then we'll use autopilot. Same thing we've done in all six trips. Maybe you're skipping around and not watching every minute of every trip. I don't know. Um, I could learn to use the rudder pedals a little better though. Real, pilot, real pilots always say rudder pedals in the sim are never like the real rudders, no matter how much you change sensitivity and stuff. Real rudder pedals are way easier to use because there are more resistance on them and everything. And every time I watch real pilots do a sim video on YouTube, they all say flying in real life is way easier <laughs> than a sim because you have peripheral vision, you feel the forces, right? So anyway, but we do the best we can. All right, so here we go. We are going to go just past the purple arrow on, arrow on our turn here. And then we'll um, let that purple arrow line up. And when it does, we will engage autopilot. Let's try to keep our climb at about 800. So we have a smooth handoff to autopilot in a moment. In the meantime, can we look outside with our dang co-pilot in the way? Look at the water. Ignore the co-pilot thing. Look at the water over there. I love small lakes like that that are completely lined with trees. Don't know if it's because I'm from up in Minnesota or what, but... Trees around lakes is super awesome. And mountains around lakes is cool too, but trees around lakes, it gets me every time. I love it. Alrighty, we're about to cross the purple line. I'm going to wait though, or else what will happen is they'll got a pile of curves left and then right. So let's see. Let's just fly like this a minute until we actually cross that thing. And there it is. Engage autopilot. Boom. Smooth handoff. Alright, here we go. Now we can look around. Let's look back of where we came from, which would have been right there in the middle of your screen. Huge airport. Now that is ocean, but there's also mainland, you know, over here. See, there's not wide open ocean. All right, look how gorgeous this is. I say that every time. Maybe I should get merch, right? And it'll say, look how gorgeous this is. <laughs> That's what the merch will say with my tall turtle logo somewhere. <laughs> that would work. Golf course there, farmland, farmland, roads, rivers, farmland, 
and the small fjord, and then the one we're looking for, and then the longest one. So, as usual, I'm going to shorten this up for you by giving you some sightseeing. I'll cut out some of the time, but you're not going to miss anything visually. And why is this having a hard time rendering and keeping up? It all depends on the servers. I used to think it was my settings and performance, but it's not. Sometimes this will render detail all the way out here, but moments like today, it's having a hard time staying ahead of us. But that's not, nothing I can do about it. My settings and everything is fine. So anyway, ooh, there's a small town. Alrighty, that is going to be it for me yapping for now. I will get you some sightseeing, and I'll see you at the fjords in a couple minutes. Alright, so here we are coming up the, long, the longest fjord in Denmark. We saw the first one that was in the POI during sightseeing, but this one we're actually talking about it now. So there's the wind farm. Look at that. Super gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And then, so there's the first fjord. Here's the longest one up here. Just so you know where we are. More wind farms and other farms. But there we go. The longest fjord in Denmark going all the way out to there. It'd be kind of fun if there's like a bike trail and a cycle along it or whatever. That'd be kind of cool. Alrighty, so let's read about our next stuff here. So, POI 20. 21 nautical miles, so another 10 minutes. Northwest lies the town of Svenstrup. We were going to name our first child Sven, but um, we didn't because at the time there was a local celebrity meteorologist named Sven who we actually knew personally because of some Scandinavian groups and everyone thought we we're naming our kid after him so we're like no so then we did not name our first kid Sven but we we're going to anyway there is a town called Svenstrup and then just after that we'll read about this too because it's so close actually well just after that is another town and then um, the airport so we'll read about Aalborg and the airport in a minute so anyway Svenstrup that's what we're looking for 10 minutes from now Let's look at the map and see where it is. So right now, if you look, we're passing over the Longest Fjord right now. And then we're headed to Svensdrup, which is here. Then Alborg, and then the airport. So, there you go. Alright, we're making a turn. And how are we going to be able to spot this? I guess when it's right across from there, we'll know. Plus, I'm sure we'll be able to see it from the air, right? We'll know it, where we are. So I will stop talking <laughs> Because that was the weirdest interlude <laughs> I've ever had. And I will see you, again, 10 minutes of my time. Only a couple minutes for you. You won't miss anything. I'll see you in Svenstrup.
Alright, we should be coming up on Svenstra pretty soon, because if you look at the map, it is straight off the nose. Like, literally straight off the nose. Um, pretty close to, so must be this right here. Let's look outside and see. Yeah, that has to be it, because there aren't any other towns. And then we move on to over here, or actually over here. So that has to be fenced through up up here. We're getting pretty close. We'll make sure to pay more attention as we get closer. Um, should we read about the next two things super fast? Yes. Four miles away lies Alberg, the nation's fourth largest city, and just beyond that, we come to an end at Alborg Airport, and we will wrap that up when we get there. So, after Svenstrup, we're headed for the fourth largest city in the nation, which is over here somewhere. Hasn't even rendered in yet. Oh my gosh, it's getting even worse as time marches on here. Yuck. Alright, let's hop outside and look at Svenstrup. That is really poor to satellite, isn't it? Wow, the Autogen actually blends in pretty well. Very nice. Very happy to see that. Because sometimes Autogen is kind of, you know, stands out a little bit. There we go, Svenstra up. Let's get the airplane in there for some kind of immersion. Look at that. Svenstra up looks good. And then we should be turning right in just a moment here. So let's enjoy this city until the airplane turns. Then we'll hop inside to enjoy the turn. Look at that. That is cool how it fans out like that, isn't it? Lake or pond right in the middle. A park right in the middle. The width of the city. And then the other side with a bunch of swimming pools. Swimming pools on the other side. Alrighty. We should be turning. There we go. Look out the window. Both directions. I love looking out the window when it turns. Even though it's a pretty simple turn here. That is so cool. Look at that. Alright. Now the fourth largest city is right there in front of us. Pretty straightforward. Um, along the water. And then we're going to cross the water to land. And we will... Uh, looks like with this runway... That's not a runway. Nope. So we'll have to do... Once we spot the airport, we'll do either left or right traffic pattern. However I feel like it. Depending how we're approaching it. And then we'll land... Let's check out the largest city and then start looking out for that airport, which is where? It's this big island here, and it's just off to the left. So there's the big island. It should be here somewhere, probably not even rendered in yet. And it's against the water. The runway goes up to the water, so that could be it. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Alright, so what we'll do is we will kill autopilot now. And then we'll just fly like this, and then we'll do a left traffic pattern. We'll just do a base, and then a final. So we're hand flying. We haven't done much hand flying, because you don't need to when it's flat. We can just use autopilot, set it, forget it. But for bush trips, where there's more terrain, we have to do more hand flying. Alrighty, looking out the windows. But let's actually just hop outside and enjoy the view this way. Can we get a nice, a nice thumbnail from here, hopefully, maybe? Let me try this, see if we can get a thumbnail from here. Whoops, I forgot I was hand flying. So you can't do the drone when you hand fly because look at the airplane, it does what it wants. So we have to, we can use this view though, there we go. Now we can fly again. And look at the cities, we fly right over it. The airport should be over there, I think. Should be over there. Right there, see it? Finally rendered in details. So this will be kind of like your downwind slash base. Alrighty, look at that. Is this airplane stable enough I can use drone mode? Yeah, good enough for right now. We just have to keep an eye on it. Look at this. So detailed. Oh, just incredible. I love the rail systems. And then all of a sudden, boom, it stops. Suburbs, some lakes and ponds, football stadium, and then farmland again. Then you cross the river. I guess it's river. Maybe this is fjord or river. I don't know what they call this. Probably river. It goes all the way through. Look, it dissects the land. Look at that. A canal then, maybe? And they got more city, and then the airport. This is right there. Alright, let's put the drone away and get back in the airplane. It's starting to drift again. Let's come down. We have to come down quite a bit. Then we're going to land right there. We should be good, though. 
long enough runway that if we come in hot we can just ride it out and this will complete or conclude our discover denmark bush trip we're doing all five bush trips with the world update five the nordics so we have four left to do after this one we will do them all of course we're gonna do them all like this where we do one leg per video go poi by poi as we go over it much much better format than i've done the other bush trips it's just the other bush trips being you know like 10 hours long some of them are 12 hours for me that would have been like 100 videos on bush trips so we um did those differently but now we're doing it this way so here we go coming down onto our final looking out the window window one final time can't really see much there and looking for our airport there we go we're still high but that's okay we're coming down speed is good we'll be perfectly fine uh, let's land on the right runway hopefully that counts it doesn't tell you which runway to land on i don't think it did anyway but we'll use the right one and if it doesn't work we'll taxi over to the other one and see if it works there Alrighty, getting kind of low let's level off a little bit and it also slow us down come into flap range in just a moment one final look out the window super duper duper fast we're lower than the windmills look at that it's like a private swampy area second set of flaps let's land the plane now doesn't matter where we land as long as we land on the runway and um i'm just gonna come in here not too low too soon <laughs> not sure what i'm doing exactly let's get centered and here we go past the threshold now and get down into ground effects where are the ground effects there they were i guess and we're down nose wheel down very gently flaps coming in step on the brakes centered finally and save icon and there we go how long did this take three hours and 31 minutes so like i said the info screen said 311 the loading screen said 330 and i did it in 331 this is the first time ever i've done a bush trip in the amount of time it said normally it's like double for me like the six hour ones take me 10 hours the eight hour ones take me 14 hours i am happy all righty there we go denmark discovered denmark bush trip first one done out of five we're not in a hurry um behind the scenes i'm going to take quite a long break before i do the next bush trip and do a lot of racing and minecraft in between but in terms of videos go you're not going to see a break we'll probably just go right into the next one so if you enjoyed it please like subscribe stay tuned for the next one and i'll see you then